Hi, in my previous video I showed how to build neural network using PyTorch. I built a simple chess engine and my university friend created a website where that engine is used. Now you can open this website and play chess against the neural network. To do the same, you need to have a good understanding of JavaScript, including not only its syntax, but also how to bundle the project using Webpack, for example. In this video, I will explain on a conceptual level with all the code how to use the PyTorch model in the browser. This means that the model runs right in the browser using the client CPU and no server is needed. Before we start, a big thanks to Alexander Serko for this code. A link to his GitHub repository will be in the description, give it a star, he'll be happy. The first step is to convert the PyTorch model into a different format. For this, you need to load the model, I assume that you saved it before. The first line will be different in your case. When you use PyTorch, you need a custom class for your model. So here I'm creating an instance of that class and then loading the model state. At the end, I set the model to evaluation mode. For conversion, we need to import the module Torch ONNX and use the export function which captures the computation graph from a native PyTorch model and converts it into an ONNX graph, which stands for Open Neural Network Exchange Graph. Let's have a look at the PyTorch documentation. You need to pass three parameters. A model, which you have just loaded, a model input, which can be a randomly generated sample or a sample taken directly from the dataset and the last parameter, which is the path where you want to save it. After that conversion, we can load and use this model in the JavaScript code. Create a session using ONNX and call the load model function on it, passing the path to the model as an argument. That's it, now the session is your loaded model. Save it as a variable to make predictions. First, you need to create tensor object from your input. Here, the input is a three-dimensional array, but the ONNX tensor constructor requires the input data to be a flat array. This is why you need to call the flat method on your input. If your input has n dimensions, then you need to call this method passing n-1. Then specify a type and finally a shape to which this flat array must be converted. But note that you also need to specify batch size at the first dimension. In my case, the 1 by 13 by 8 by 8 means that I'm passing one sample with 13 channels, where each channel is an 8x8 matrix representing a chessboard. Then you can run the model with the tensor's input, which returns a prediction. Now we can extract the data from this object. The values method returns an iterator over the prediction values. Next, get the first result from the iterator, and value.data accesses the actual data, which in my case are the probabilities of the moves. To be more precise, they are logits, but you can convert them to a JavaScript array and apply softmax to get probabilities. If you want to deploy for free, then you might use GitHub pages. It's extremely simple, let me show you how to do that. Let's fork Alexander's repository. It has a separate branch for deployment, so when forking, don't select copy the master branch only. To deploy on GitHub pages, you need to do two things. First, add an index.html, which is already there. The second step is to go to the settings, click Pages, select the correct branch and press Save. After a couple of minutes, in your forked repository you will have a deployment section where you can find the website itself. So, using PyTorch in the browser is quite simple. You need to convert the PyTorch model to own an X format and use JavaScript to load and run the model in the browser. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Now go and beat this chess engine, see you in the next video.